What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. Remember, if you're enjoying the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, consider supporting me on Patreon, link in the description. Got some cool bonus footage up there, get early access to reactions, and for just five bucks, just go ahead and react to whatever you want, uh, which is actually what we have here. Uh, one of my, <clears throat> excuse me, one of my wonderful patrons, Kaya, has actually requested that I just listen to it's like a 20 minute compilation of <clears throat> pentatonics just hanging out and singing just singing in like impromptu sessions you know hopefully a lot of like those like backyard sessions that i've kind of seen before like private performances kind of off mic which is going to be awesome because clearly they can do it live but seeing them do it just like literally on like a fan shot thing when they have no microphones or anything it's it's somehow even more special. <laughs> so thank you so much, Kaya, for this recommendation. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. We sit in a circle and just circle jam. We just run a section over and over and over and just like word vomit ideas out. If we like something, we'll use that or we'll kind of like jam off what someone else did. It's a really cool, organic way of figuring out the arrangement. More God, Mitch kind of looks like Lin-Manuel Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> What you forgetting, girl? Uh, forgetting that you do too. Forgetting that too. Baby, I, I, forgetting that too. Forgetting that too. <laughs> yes. Listen, 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 listen. Hey. Got the chicken. Chicken. Uh, it's day off, but it's you can only stay there for so long. Right. So, so uh, I see that like real late. late. Or what you know about it? Do big things like Mitch Ross. You know, yeah. like what you know about it? Do big things like. like Darian Cook, Cook, with the heart like Stoop, Stoop. Yeah. All righty, y'all ready? ready? Hey, hey, okay, okay, let uh. <laughs> 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 And make that Beat just check it. <laughs> God, you don't even need the radio. <laughs> So we're on the way to McKinney, guys. What? Oh, well, imagine as a friend of the season. Church going door and I tell them about to think. But I can't but to hear an exchanging of words. What a beautiful wedding. <laughs> what a beautiful wedding. <laughs> Says the bridesmaid to the movie. Yes, my love. Are you serious? Is that a whore? A whore. I'm trying to hand one I haven't you people ever heard of. Closing the... Damn door, no, it's much better to face these kinds of things. With a sense of voice, I should not let it ever. You really know these lyrics, I'm impressed. <laughs> so, oh, you better sing, Scott. So they're working on the new Christmas song. Yes. Taking it to church. Scott. Kevin. Ben Bram. 
Awesome. Yo, we hark in them hair blows, we are angels singing, we glory into you, that newborn, that king, yo. One, two, three, and What other Grammy artist could do that on the red carpet at the drop of a hat? Oh, you can, uh, okay. 
in the mud, I'm under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants. Absorbing the yellow and porous is he. SpongeBob SquarePants. If not a full nonsense, be something you wish. SpongeBob SquarePants. Then drop on the deck and flop like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants. Ready? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, score one for us. That was a thousand percent correct. Nobody can say no when Jesus says. Nobody can say no when Jesus says. It's a hello operator. <laughs> and broke her little. Ask me no more questions. Tell me no more lies. The boys are in the bathroom. You the other flies are in the So cool. That was a dig. God, what video was that? Yeah, some everyone knows they've heard before. What about video? Let's do video. Alright. Video kill the radio star right here live. <laughs> Pentatonics. Can you guys hear us okay? Yeah. Can you? Can you hear? Ready? One, two, three. Four. 
That's it? It's over? <laughs> oh, that was incredible. That was so fun. Um, all right, let, let's let's get big. Man, that was so cool. That was like everything I wanted to see. It, it's, it's, it's just 
It's amazing how they can just go into something, just make something up, and then within, you know, five seconds, everybody is doing it, and they're all sounding so good and so perfect and so tight, just randomly, like, hanging out on the bus before bed, you know, or two of them are in a dressing room, and then, like, the other, like, two more of them will hear from outside of the room, be like, oh, I gotta come in and join this. God, that's so cool. Um, if, 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 if you know, like, what iHeartRadio Pentatonics thing that was where the dude was just holding up songs, I need to watch that video. I hope it's five hours long, and I need to see it. I need to see it right now, because that was so cool. That was so neat. It was That reminded me a lot of the riff off from Pitch Perfect, where you just had, like, a song, and you had to flow into the next one. It's not exactly the same, but it's, it's similar. It's similar. Um, but yeah, that, God, it's so sad that Avi is gone. <laughs> he, he, I, I, I very much do enjoy, uh, Matt, but Avi, just, uh, he's having so much fun. And I will say it is, it's kind of weird. Uh, sometimes I'll hear him talk and it'll be ungodly deep. Like it normally is like when he sings and then other times it'll actually be up high. Like if you just heard his voice, you wouldn't be like, oh, I bet that guy is a fucking operatic bass singer. That's really weird. It's very odd. I wonder why he's got the two different kind of speaking tones. Hmm. But it was cool to put a face to uh, Ben Brom, the gentleman from the uh, Abbey's uh, Acapella Academy and like the arranger for a lot of pentatonic stuff. A friend of theirs from, I want to say, high school. I'm sure you'll let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, that was very cool. <clears throat> it was really cool seeing that. Kind of putting, uh, kind of humanizing them. Humanizing them all a little bit. Being like, oh man. And they still have so much fun even when they fuck up. And I would imagine that, like I always used to think that if one person fucked up, everything would sound terrible. It's not really how it was. Like when they did Video Killed the Radio Star and they kept fucking up there at the end, it still sounded good. It didn't sound as good, obviously. But it's not like, oh, nails on a chalkboard bat or anything like that. Like, I really liked it. That was so fun. Damn. But yeah, no, thank you so much uh, for the patronage. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for checking it out and sticking with me through this whole thing. This was a whole lot of fun. It really makes me want to watch that documentary. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much. I'll see you in the next video.